All right, hello everybody. This is uh, Igor Cavalera. Max Cavalera. And you guys are tuned in to uh, heavymetal.dk. I don't know uh, why exactly it happened. I, th I think it was more of towards the date, right? For for the 20 years. Yeah, I think you have that. Like that was and... that was like the someone called the attention that it was 20 years of, of that record, and then from that a lot of ideas start throwing back and forth to the point that that when me and Max decided to give it a try, we we had a, a a festival in Canada who was willing to to do a tryout to see how it would go and uh, that, that was quite good that we did that because that pretty much launched what, to where we are right now and uh, for me and Max to uh, revisit Roots I have to say it was quite uh, exciting as, as musicians because it's an album that we know it generates a lot of uh, talk a lot of different bands were influenced by it, but we never got to play the album from beginning to the end, N never in, in our history. So yeah. to do that, for me as a musician, it was quite a challenge, but also I have to say I respect even more the album now once we do that, because I can see a lot of the things that, that people pointed out that sometimes by the, the heat of the moment you, you forget. So I'm really proud of, of that record. I think it's exciting, man, you know, like especially like somebody is, you know, a lot of them were not even born when, when Roots came out, you know, so I think for them to see that and that the way we are presenting, it's really, uh, we made, me and Igor made this thing with the state of mind as a fan. What would the fan would like to see and hear? And I think that's, this is why this works. You know, it's because it's made by a fan uh, point of view of me and Igor as fans of heavy metal, fans of, of Roots itself, of the album, because I'm, I'm a fan of the record. Yeah. I think it's a really good, strong record. So we, we are playing as a, uh, with the state of mind of a fan, what the fan would like to see. From everything, from the t-shirts, the merchandise, to how we play the songs, uh, meeting greets after the, the show, everything is made like a fan would like yeah. to see it, you know? Yeah, I, I, I have to say, I, I went to see a, a band called uh, Black Flag, which they did a show in London right before we, we did this. And I never had a chance to see Black Flag growing up in Brazil. So I saw them now, like old and just hitting the stage and, and really pushing. And for me, that was, that was really, really good to see. Because it's like, wow, if I can do that now, nowadays, for someone that didn't have a chance to see Roots at the time, then I'm... If I leave the venue the same way I left when I saw Black Flag perform, then I'm 100% happy. Yeah. And then I have to say, if, if they had what we're doing right now, which is a, a meet and greet, F, which they, they don't, but if they did, I would have done the meet and greet just to tell them like how much yeah. they meant to me. So like all those things, like exactly like Max pointed out, some people don't, don't understand they think it's like, oh, you're doing the meet and greet just to, you know, like to make money or whatever. But for a lot of people, it's very important, you know, to have a chance to shake the hand of your idol. And I would have done the same thing if I was on that black flag, you know, thing. So I think a lot of those things really influence us as a fan, also as a musician, but also like the first thing is like as a fan, how I would like to walk into a, a Roots concert and how I would like to leave. So I think pretty much that's we 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 look at this as as if we were fans of music going we, to a concert. And we work very hard on it too. I mean we put a lot of time on the preparation, you know, it's it's a very 
specific record with a lot of changes. There's a lot of dynamics, you know. Yeah. So it's it was not very easy to to translate into a live show. But now it's working like a machine, man. You know, every night we just like it's yeah, like awesome, you know, yeah. like really cool. I think good, everybody yeah. that leaves the show just sweat, you know, wet but happy, you know. They saw something unique, something very. Uh, it's hard to describe in words, but like magic, kind of, you know, like it's like very cool, very uh, special. Yeah. So I think that's uh, that's the positive uh, is why we're doing this whole thing is to to bring those feelings on people. Yeah. That for me, that's as a, as a person and as a musician, that's that's the best way of doing things. It's like don't forget about your past, not try to, you know, like cover your past, but be proud of it. But at the same time, not only live off your fast, but yeah. also look at you do futuristic things yeah. musically. Yeah. Like uh, you know, we still enjoy every second of, of from uh, the minute me and Max research new music, old music, all kinds of uh, different styles, to to the second that we hit the stage. I mean, those all those things for us it, it really counts when we when we do a Cavalera record. Roots was, was from, from early. Hmm. Even a lot of people were not too sold on yeah. that name. I, I remember Max came up with it, and like us from the band, we we're like, Yeah, well, I had a really bad amazing. experience the album before because KOZ didn't have a title until the very last second. It was like the, the oh, label yeah. was calling, I was gonna call it Propaganda and Manifest. I was like, I wasn't sold. I was like, no, 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 man. We got it. We need something. And then, last minute, Chaos AD, and it was a great title. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that worked fine. Which came from Misfits, you know. Yeah. Earth AD, Chaos AD. You know, I love grabbing stuff from punk bands and reggae bands and stuff that's not really metal put in a metal world, you know. So Roots was a bit uh, like, I think a traumatic experience I had on Chaos AD was like, oh, like let's do this difference, of, let's have the title early, so I don't have to worry about it. But the label even tried to talk me out of the other, uh, they didn't <laughs> like the name. What well, do I didn't like the name? They thought it sounded like a reggae compilation. Yeah. You know, and it does, it does, yeah, you know. But, <laughs> but the way we saw it was like, let's make it metal. Yeah. Let's introduce the, the, the word Roots into the metal world make roots part of the metal world you know and i think it's it's, it's really amazing like now so many things are called roots yeah. in metal yeah. you know there's it's radio true. shows in america called roots you know yeah, yeah. testament have records called roots you know yeah. uh so mission accomplished yeah man you know <laughs> so it was worth it and i was and this always you know depends on each other like the new cavalera we don't have a title yet we have a couple ideas but we don't have we don't want to announce it yet you know so depends on each other, but it's it was nice that the roots had a roots had a title and, a, and a, an idea before it was even born. Yeah. Before we even had the first note of this of the that was pretty cool. Which is that like, we had this idea of roots going back to our own yeah. roots yeah. and um, the tribe idea came to do the tribe recording. So that was really uh, really cool that came together in this record, you know. Yeah. And we play it sorry live, which is amazing. I think. Uh, Igor does with the tribal drums on top of it. It's very powerful. Yeah. Very cool. Can you take it? Can you take it? Can you take it? Can you take it? I think more back in the days, it was a lot of... Because uh, growing up in general, of course, you have debates and things like that with your brother. But I think nowadays, it's, it's amazing because we know how to deal with things we with older with, with wiser in in a lot of aspects and i think what we do is really respect each other more than anything and also cherish the moment of being together we know so many people including like some somebody like like pantera they cannot do this because one of the brothers are it's gone so I really appreciate every second that we're together and we try to do this do this without any drama which is like 
leave all the drama behind. We enjoy our, our time together as brothers. And of course, music is the number one thing that connects me and Max. Like when we talk about like putting together ideas and things like that. So, so I think that's, that's the most important thing, you know. I agree with all that. And then the, the, the negative thing, we have to fight over the tuna pizza in the end of this show. Yeah. Do we the only, ba only bad that's thing. That's nothing. <laughs> well, well, that, 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 that can be he, a big he, deal. He always gets the big piece. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, but it's... It's, yeah. it's yeah. all good, man. It's, yeah. We're yeah. having a lot of fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. And for me, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's great to just be with him. But also, as a musician, he's the best drummer, I think, in the world. Like the hardest hitting drummer I ever play with yeah. and it's for me it's, it's great to get punished by him right on my back right <laughs> you know feel those things hitting me you know it's great yeah. great therapy the only way to get away I couldn't talk them out of it <laughs> I try. But you see the you should be a lawyer and a doctor. And save the world. No, oh, you want to. You want to make music. Well, you know it's cool. You know. Yeah. They're big fans. They're like Zion is a huge fan of, of Igor, of course. You know, yeah. worships worships him, and you know, I, I, I think the good, also they're good kids. You know, I think also it's it's a natural environment. These kids, they they were born watching us on stage. So I I think. Like Max says, you know, it's like if if it's in their blood, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Same way, if tomorrow one of them goes like, I want to do whatever, get into something completely different. Of course, us as parents, you need to support what they do. Well, Zion actually does. Like he likes hip hop beats, yeah. which I think is very cool. You know, I support that fullest. I think. And even Igor told him it's a great thing for, for a drummer to, to listen to a lot of different stuff like hip hop. You know? yeah. It comes from a whole different world of music, you know. Um, and he does both, you know, he does Lodi Kong, which is heavy. And then at home, he only he does hip hop beats all day long, man. Like from his room, it's just like this really cool ambient sounds coming out. So I think it's. And Igor writes novels for like, like Stephen King kind of horror novel that will become books so they have different things yeah, you know going awesome. on in their life and yeah. uh, Igor's kids too like uh, his, his daughter Joanna she plays his uh, Gertie, Hurdy Gertie, Gertie yeah. okay. instrument that we're gonna put on the new Cavalera it's gonna be great you know yeah. she played for me in Brazil in a dressing room and I was like I thought I was on an episode of Game of Thrones it was so cr so cool like yeah. sound like medieval you know and I think it's so cool, it's so talented that they can do stuff like that. It's incredible, you know, they can pick up an instrument like that and just play. I try play it, it sounded like shit. It's not like a cat dying. Born from dust in the gutters of this earth. Magus and Lapworth in this hour is this happen. It's pretty Get in there. far. As far as like we already record most of the stuff. And uh, we did with a producer called Arthur Risk, which is it's a very young producer coming up, which I've been friends with him with a few years, and, and I've been noticing he's been producing some amazing music. We, we, he did like the latest uh, Power Trip, and before he did some stuff which is more like in the area where I listen to a lot of different like industrial and, and noisy stuff. He worked with this guy called Prurient, which toured with Godflesh and stuff. So it's a really, really cool producer. To have him involved in, in this new Cavalera, it was, it was quite uh, a really cool thing that we, we found, which for me and Max, it's always good to have someone that it's super passionate about music, the same way we are. Mm -hmm. So to have someone like him coming in and uh, helping us with ideas and, and, and things like that, I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people because he also understand a lot about what's going on today in music. And uh, that's that's pretty cool, that exchange with us, with the old school ideas, with also yeah. like someone that understands music 
right now. So I, I, I think it's going to come up. I'm far more excited than, than I've been in many years to, to put out a record like this. So yeah, yeah. I, I have to say I'm quite into it, yeah, what we're doing he, right uh, now. He captured the classic Max and yeah. Igor in a, in a way that's never really quite been captured before. I mean, that's really... It was always his objective from the beginning. He wanted to capture the the soul of the brothers, you know, and I think he did. I think it's, and it's quite amazing, like looking back, um, somebody can get that out of you after, you know, yeah. 25 years, man, you know, that's that's awesome. But I, like you would say, he also has like, there's a lot of noise also in, the, in the, between songs that we're gonna hear all this kind of crazy, just pure noise and, and heaviness and, which is like unheard of it, you know. So I'm very excited. I think it was a, it was a lot of fun, a record to make. I had a lot of fun making it, um, because of that, uh, of the passion that Arthur had for this project from the beginning. You know, from Igor's drumming to the riffs. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna start do, doing vocals and I already sang two songs and I can't wait for people to hear it because I think people are gonna be blown away. This, uh, for me, everybody likes to say the new record is the best, but mm -hmm. for me, this is, uh, I think it's gonna be the best Cavalera we ever done. Um, it's got all the, all the right elements to be the best one, you know, so I'm excited. Yeah, me too. So next year, uh, I, I hope it comes out this year. You know, okay. we we are hoping October. Yeah. You know, Napalm Records is gonna work on it. You know, and uh, we have a thing called uh, Conspiracy Diaries. We had a friend of ours from Horns Up Rocks filmed the whole thing. So the whole entire yeah. session was filmed. It's every like a documentary, second. yeah, like a documentary of the whole recording. It so. was recorded under uh, on a bunker in the desert. So this is really cool. <laughs> like in the middle of the desert, inside of like an underground bunker, is where the record yeah. was made. So okay. it's very metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merciful fate. Yeah, yeah. The king. <laughs> Long live the king. I, I think Denmark has a really cool story with us. You know, like we always had amazing shows here. Yeah. So it's something that for us it's very important, you know, like when, when you have such uh, passionate fans, especially for, for metal and, and, and like heavy music in here. So that, that's a, what it's come to mind. It's like people are very passionate about, about music here and that's really cool. It's always we always had great shows yeah. here. Yeah. Always. From back in the, you know, the early Sepultura days, all the way through the Soulfly years to what we have now, I think yeah. tonight should be really good, you know, so I'm very excited. So it's always good to be here. All right, Dan Mark, Max Cavalera here. Igor Cavalera, we're, we're here with Return to Roots, and we'd like to send a big shout out to all our Danish metal fans. Stay metal! <laughs>